Hello guys, welcome back to our tutorial and now we will work uh, on polishing our character we will start with the character's backpack so now you see it's very static it's like a one big mesh but this character has lots of bones that can be uh, uh, moved and rotated to give more life to the backpack so for example if i select this bag 02 bone you will see it affects uh, this part of backpack also i can select for example this bone and it affects this part of backpack so uh, we could animate in some third party program all those bones but it would take us lots of lots of hours because we have so many animations and every animation uh, also influence how uh, backpack uh, uh, reacts to it so it, it would take us i don't know weeks probably months to do uh, with animations but we have this dynamic bone that we imported in the first lesson so let's see what it uh, does uh, i'm gonna select this bag of one bone now and i'm gonna add dynamic bone and uh, i need to drag it into this root field the bone and now what it gonna do it will affect all the bones you see uh, the script uh, draws those lines so with this script uh, it will it will uh, affect every every bone uh, with this uh, with those settings uh, i don't think it's a good way to do this way uh, because every bone uh, like uh, would uh, work different in the real environment so we will need to add now you see what it did to our backpack now it's very dynamic and maybe it's too much so we need to decrease some of the values over here uh, let's try Let's try uh, damping. Okay, let's do this. In, uh, now see how it affects it. It's better. But still, it's not good. Uh, let's increase even more okay let's increase elasticity okay now I think uh, it it works good for the bottom part of the backpack uh, and uh, but it's not good for those uh, straps so we will add additional scripts uh, for those okay let's copy values okay now let's add additional scripts to those bones okay we need this bone then we need uh, this bone also this bone and this bone Okay, let's select all of them and let's add dynamic bone. Okay, and now let's drag every 
respond to the script. Okay, now if I select this first bone that we uh, started with, uh, you see it still draws all those lines. So we need to restrict, so it will affect only bag 02. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna uh, exclude those bones that I don't need. Okay. So don't affect that bone and this one and this one. Okay. Okay, and uh, let's test now okay it looks good for the bottom part uh, we need to adjust those new bones that we animating so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna select all of them at once and I'm gonna increase damping and let's test it now and it's actually not bad it's very good and now you see how much life it gave to our backpack Previously it was very static and with just a couple scripts made it look very lively and dynamic and you can add also additional guns to this backpack that can also have can have a little bit of this procedural animation so it will look even better. Okay guys, if you like uh, tutorials, uh, what I'm doing on this channel, please subscribe and I'll try to make even more of those. Good luck!